Hey, what's up, guys? This is um, the Steelbook, Best Buy exclusive Steelbook for Star is Born, starring Lee Gaga and Bradley Cooper, directed by Bradley Cooper, which is pretty cool. Um, this is the Blu-ray DVD digital copy um, edition. I thought this was the 4K edition, but I guess I just got the other one, because they do two, usually. Um, this is, uh, I haven't seen this film yet. It's gotten lots of um, awards buzz and stuff. Um, actually, I've not seen any of the Star is Born film. This is the third remake, I think. I forget. There's the one with um, Judy Garland, and there's the one from with uh, Barbara Streisand, Chris, Chris Christopherson, and then there's another one, I think, somewhere in there. I've seen none of them. Um, it's about a starlet. Not starlet. But, uh, I feel like there was a Simpsons episode that parodied it, too. Is there, is there a Simpsons episode that parodies this? With Loretta Love something? I don't know. What the fuck am I even talking about? Jesus. Anyway. I haven't seen it. I'm looking forward to it. It's apparently good. Um, but I wouldn't know. I like the Steelbook better than the regular, um, the 4K and the regular Blu-ray editions cover. I like the picture of the guitar. The two of them singing there. It's pretty neat. The, the, um, well... The main case is not, it's not glossy, the, the, it's, it's more of a shine for the guitar setting there. Nothing is embossed, I don't think. No, it's not. Which is whatever. It's a black steel book too, which I usually don't like solid black ones. They scratch up real easy. And the back here is a star with a microphone. Which is cool enough, I guess. Star is born on the spine with no spine slash, which is cool. Let me do a quick open up here. There's my diesel code with, what is that? Some stupid thing, I don't know. And there is the Blu-ray disc right there. And then here is the DVD. Cool. Like the silver look, oh, not silver, the gold look there. Actually, I didn't even show the background art, even though, yeah. That is the two of them playing and writing music, it looks like. Like I said, I haven't seen this. I know the story is that like she's a, a waitress or something like that with mental illness, and he meets her, and he's a like aging country star who's really popular, and he's like producing music, and he falls in love with her, and she turns into like be like a really big star, bigger than him or something, and there's a falling out, and everyone's happy in the end or not happy, or I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. I haven't seen it. It's a little. That's okay. Nah, shit. And that second thing. There. Take a look at the back here. Passionate, emotional, and fearless from Kenneth Turan, Los Angeles Times. In this new take on the tragic love story, Jackson Maine is a seasoned musician who discovers and falls in love with struggling artist Allie. She has just about given up on her dream to make it big as a singer until Jack hoaxes her into the spotlight. But even as Allie's career takes off, the personal side of her relationship it's breaking down as Jackson fights an ongoing battle with his own internal demons. I assume he's an alcoholic or something. It's typical of that, but I, I, again, I don't fucking know. I'm making assumptions here, so. There it is, directed by Bradley Cooper, written by, well, screenplay by a bunch of people with Bradley Cooper and so-and-so. -so. Um, like I said, this is the, at least the third or fourth iteration of this film. Which I think is always up for awards, too, so I don't know. Um, rated R... For language throughout, some sexuality, nudity, and substance abuse. Warner Brothers, and this is 136 minutes, so that's cool. I was about to put this in here. Like I always like to do, I try to put this in there just to keep my information together. Actually, I didn't go for the special features quick. I can do that. Songs, performances, not seen in theaters, The Road to Stardom, Making Stars Born, and music videos, apparently. Hmm. I've heard the song from the movie. I think it's up for an Academy Award, actually. It's pretty good. I think it's called Shallow? What the fuck? Oh shit, I'm just touching shit. It's kind of got a weird feel to it. So, I'll mess with that later. So yeah, that's it. Excuse me, shit. Uh, quick unboxing. Um, I almost didn't get this. I was just going to get the digital copy, but I thought, well... I kind of like the steel book and I haven't seen it, but you know, blah, blah, blah. Very cool. 
looking forward to checking it out. The, the Oscars are this this coming weekend, so I have to watch a bunch of fucking movies that, of course, I have not watched yet. And I probably won't, but I should try. So, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I don't have nothing else to say, really. So, uh, tell me below if you like this version, if this is your favorite version. Like I said, this is at least the third version. Uh, let me know if this is your favorite or if you like the other versions. There's, like I said, a bunch. And I'm just repeating myself now, so whatever. Uh, thanks, Ed. Thanks for watching, guys. That's it. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.